You're going to laugh at this. Remember Adam Schiff said he helped create Twitter? Remember he said that? He said he helped create, he helped create Twitter. Well, you know, I'm going to say he also created the the, um, the, uh, the fuzzy math calculator too as well, by the way. He created the fuzzy math calculator because he said 8 plus 3 equals 14. It's actually 8 plus 3 equals 11. We did we don't do fuzzy math here. We do not do fuzzy math. And Shifty Shift, Adam Shift said that he helped create Twitter. Well, if you're going to create Twitter, you also did the fuzzy math calculator too as well. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to... Uh, you know, this is one thing what we do here. We expose of what the guy what the guy said. But no other network will do that, will they? No other network has actually said this before. No other network actually exposed the way we're exposing. And, and I've watched that movie Bombshell, by the way. I saw Bombshell and Star Wars. I recommend seeing both movies. Why? Because about uh, it's, it's, it's about um uh um uh, 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 it's about uh, the the the, uh, the the producer of Fox News, uh, 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 Adels, you know, I mean, Robert Adels, you know, the guy, the, the, the guy was a monster. He he had he, the guy has no respect at all for anybody at all whatsoever. I felt I. I, I felt for the women because you know these these people were this like Harry Weinstein and the and also Matt Lauer, monsters. Also, did you know Chris Matthews is a monster too? By the way, sexual harassment, uh, and, and, that, and there's there's no reports up from this at all from CNN or ABC anywhere about uh, about Chris Matthews. Nothing. They're keeping it silent. Why is that? I don't get it. This these people are monsters. I mean, they expose Matt. La they expose Matt Lauer. They expose Robert Ailes from from Fox News. But they yet I have yet to see. Exposing Chris Matthews. The guy is a pedophile. The guy is very, very evil. Just like Albert Weinstein. Very pure evil. And did you know Chris Matthews is part of Netflix, by the way? It's so is Obama. They created Netflix. And do you know what's you know out doing Netflix right now? Disney Plus. There's more people watching Disney Plus than there are people on Netflix. Why? Because Disney is. A family-oriented uh, um, uh, station, or you know, uh, what we call it, um, app. It really is. It really it, it, Disney Plus is great. I recommend it. Um, they are, all the old movies you want from Disney. They have it all there. All the all some, some new ones too as well. They only got also got Touchstone Pictures now. They have more selections than they are. Then they do have on Netflix, by the way, a lot more selections, and they don't repeat anything either. It's really cool. It's really awesome. It's go to Disney, Disney Plus, go to your app, and you know, it, for six nine for six bucks a month, that's what it costs. Six six nine, it's five ninety nine or six dollars, what it is. I'm not sure. Uh, either six or seven dollars a month, but it's well, it's cheaper than net. It's cheaper than Netflix, and. All your movies do not get repeated at all. You go on a search, it's right there. You go your, you go your, uh, uh, use your um, uh, Amazon Fire Stick or anything else you want to do, and just go to Disney Plus. I mean, it's it's great. It's better than anything else right now on the on, on the on the air because I want to let you know that because again, you're you got your family guy, uh, aren't you? Oh yeah, I got a wife and kids, and yeah, I'm straight up family guy. Well, the, 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 she. Is, Drop Netflix for 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 ten bucks because the uh, did, uh, did you know they're going to drop the price of Netflix? They're going to add commercials on there, four minutes of commercials. They're going to do that next. They're going to do that in March, by the way, on uh, uh, on Netflix. I mean, you know, they started out really cheap. They had a bunch of movies. We all thought it was an amazing platform. It had hundreds and hundreds of movies, and we were like, "Wow, this is good." Right. Then of course the price went up. Then of course now. This is one thing I want to say. Like, I mean, I'm kind of back and forth because my, my kids watch Netflix and stuff like that. I don't personally have a problem with Netflix so much as far as the movies they're coming out with. You can tell. You can just tell that, that there are a lot of the movies they have, and I don't know any specific ones right off the top of my head, but I've seen a few where you can show that it's pushing the agenda. It's pushing the left. A lot of LGBTQ movies, a lot of... Which is fine. I have no problem with people being who they are. My only problem is don't force it onto others. You say, you know, we're not forcing normal onto you. You know what I'm saying? We, this is the way we were born. This is the way it's been in every country. Even Islam don't, you know, on certain aspects of, of uh, you know, gay and lesbian and all that. I don't have a 
problem with it, but I just have a problem when you're forcing my, you know, seven-year-old who wants to watch a show of high school kids, and it shows boys on boys, girls on girls, and it just keeps going and going. It's just, to me, they're trying to normalize a lot of stuff that, you know, I just don't feel appropriate, but that's just my personal opinion on that. Yeah, 